What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here. Before I get into the topic at hand, I'd like to apologize first for making another complaint video or addressing something that other YouTubers have already updated you guys on, but also second because I'm making another complaint video. Like, it really just seems Call of Duty has surrounded itself in this shroud of issues lately, and then when one thing is brought up, here comes another and another and another. One of those issues that were brought up today is the new triple play bundle which contains a weapon crate, 10 reserve crates, and then 10 tier skips. But most importantly, the demo hammer melee weapon which is what everybody is going to be getting and was also shown to us during the trailer for the current Operation Grand Heist. But none of us even believed or expected Activision or Treyarch to lock this melee weapon behind a paywall because it doesn't even add any significant impact on the game. It's literally just a reskin of any melee weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Also, we did not even expect this single melee weapon to be worth damn near $30 or half of the actual price for Black Ops 4. You honestly might even be able to find this game on eBay or Amazon for that price and the higher ups at Activision or Treyarch have the audacity to make the value for this that much. It's honestly just driving me up the wall today. I really could not stop thinking about it when I heard this news. Um, but if you were gonna go to buy the 2800 COD points for this triple play bundle, then you're actually gonna be spending about $24. But instead of doing that, those players who you know want to buy this are more than likely going to end up buying the $40 COD point deal in order to get more value out of what you pay. But over the past few years, I've been thinking to myself, and I guess it's also because I'm getting older, um, COD points really are not worth their actual value due to many, many reasons. One of which is because the game, is the game cycle for any Call of Duty game lasts for a year, if that until a new COD game comes out and then you end up paying hundreds of dollars, way more than the actual price of the game, then you won't even go back to play that game like as often as you would if the COD game is in the current cycle. Like say if the new Call of Duty 2019 comes out and I spend about $200 on COD points in Black Ops 4, then I'm only going to be playing this game for a select few days out of the year, if that. Like, I really don't think Black Ops 4 is a game that I'm going to go back to play a whole lot. Maybe Blackout, but in general, it's just no. Like, this deal is so, so bad. And also because um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a college student here, I got a new house to pay for, I got bills. You know, like I said, the actual value for what you're getting in COD points or microtransactions really are horrible. And also, one more thing, because this game is worth $60, but you're going to be paying half of the price on a microtransaction of the game. It's just ridiculous. Recently, everything's been getting me so frustrated for this game that I guess I'm not even surprised that this is what happened today. Um, so, I'm just not going to buy this at all. I'm not even going to look at it anymore because of how fucked up it really is. And Activision, Treyarch, whoever made this decision to make the, the melee weapon this price this much, honestly, like, wh what the hell were you thinking? Really, what the hell were you thinking? I hated the fact that in the live stream yesterday that they were showcasing the demo hammer without even saying how players can get this weapon. They never said, you have to pay $30 to get this weapon. And there's a lot of players out there who have every single item in reserve crates. Some might even be stacked up on hundreds of reserve crates. So those extra tier skips, the 10 reserve drops, maybe even the weapon crates hold no value whatsoever to those players. The hammer should be available for at most $5 if that, but even better, Black Ops Pass holders, we should be getting more incentives. We should be getting melee weapons for free, not just blackout skins or a couple of maps here and there. Just give us something, something that isn't making me regret buying this stupid pass every single time I play Black Ops 4. Stop milking fans out of their money and focus on making the game better. But I guess at the end of the day, at this point in the game, after looking back at everything, unfortunately, complaining, making these videos do not do anything. They, they, they just don't anymore because there are those players out there who don't watch videos, who don't realize that the value for this is insane. They don't realize how big of an issue micros are getting. But still, there's nothing you or I can really do about this. I mean, feel free to spend whatever you want. Feel free to spend your hard-earned money on these items. 
I just know that I got a whole lot more going on in life right now that I need to pay for basic necessities to survive, let alone college. So yeah, again, I'm sorry for making this video. Um, it's just my two cents on the issue today. I'm hoping Modern Warfare 4 or whatever Call of Duty they make for 2019 is gonna be better in terms of pushing micros. But I, I really do love Black Ops 4, especially Blackout. Love the game mode a lot, but the direction this year just feels so weird to me. Um, it, it just really feels like we're being milked dry out of our money. Um, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. I'm so, so upset right now. Um, I really don't feel like playing Call of Duty at all for, for a while. That's why I really haven't been posting any videos lately. It's it just because uh, my heart really isn't there in, in the game. Like, I, I love playing, but, like, my heart and, and passion towards Black Ops 4 this year just feels different to me. I don't know. Um, please tell me your thoughts about this in the comments, guys. I feel like shit making this video because it's another complaint video. I know you guys expect better content from me, but this is honestly just how I feel right now. Um, I know a lot of players out there do as well. Um, but maybe if you don't, just please tell me anything down below in the comments, your thoughts about this, guys. I love y'all so, so much. Um, thank you for your constant support. Everything you guys do for me, I, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You just watching my content, it means so, so much to me. More than you guys will ever, ever realize. Um, again, thank you for everything you guys do for me. Till next time, I'll see you later.